I was walking today with our dogs and we came across somebody who had a dog, had a little boy, and was walking from one end of our front yard to the other on the sidewalk, public sidewalk. And the dog was a pit bull. My dogs are very little, very loud. And right away we noticed the dog was not leashed. So my question here is, should your dogs be leashed out in the public? Well, the short answer is hell yes. <laughs> because I wanted to scream at that person. Scream, I shall ya. Scream at that person. It's a danger. It's a danger to the kid. It's a danger to the community. I want got I wanted to get on my high horse at that moment. But then it's like, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do my Latino Zen. And the mom got the dog on the leash. Thank God. She actually had the leash in her hand, which was really strange. And they walked away. And she was walking towards the end of our of our property. And she finally turned around and said to uh, my other half, uh, she apologized. And that's when my other half, Romy, saw her pocket to go. And what she said was, it's no problem. I would suggest leashing the dog because you don't want their dog to get hit by a car. I've seen a dog get hit by a car and die, and you don't never want to see that. And the woman stopped. She paused. She turned around. She got real quiet. And in our brief interaction with this woman, she's a very loud, what very loud Latina. Got real quiet. She paused. She didn't say anything to Romy. She turned around with her and her child. Beautiful little child, <laughs> a happy little child. I mean, really, it's kind of more afraid for the child. Like this pit bull is so big, just knock off the kid into the street. And they went on their merry way. So why, why, Polly, should I have to leash my dog? It's little, it's old. You'll hear all kinds of explanations. We, we run into all kinds of owners. Oh, he's 16. He, we won't hurt a fly. He's 16. He's little. It's, you know, it's like, oh, no, no, we're good. And we'll walk across the street. Because it happens all the time. Okay, so what does a leash represent? A leash represents responsibility. Without a leash, you are lazy. And that's what we said to each other. That is laziness. That is entitlement. It says you do not care about anyone but yourself you only you do not care about the community that you're in the responsibility that it is to have and own a dog a leash says you're responsible says you honor that relationship between man and dog the discipline the control that takes responsibility and it says above all that you are mindful of your community. So that opposite, that opposite of laziness, responsibility is a presence of mind. You're mindful. As a man who walks his dogs two, three times a day, I'm super mindful. Leashes, poopy bags, because I don't own these streets. I live in a neighborhood. And I got to be mindful. Why? Because I want to give a positive influence today to my community. I don't want to be a menace to my community. Why would I want to be a menace to my community with my pets? It says a lot about your character or lack thereof. And I would probably suggest not, a, not just owning a dog. But that is my Latino Zen and uh, I'd say, uh, you know, these are all responsibilities, but above all, presence of mind 
is a great thing.